Today I'm going to show you the main difference between two browser-based presentation tools, one Google Slides and the second one Visme. Both of these are lightweight, simple, and intuitive presentation tools that allow users to collaborate with team members and publish and share content on the web. In this short tutorial, we're going to go over the key similarities and differences between these two presentation tools. So one of the key differences between Visme and Google Slides is that Visme offers users a few more presentation templates. As you go down, you see that these are organized according to visual theme and content. So you can pick any of these. And for this example, we're going to choose the annual theme right here. So one of the main differences is that once inside the interface, you see that you have many more options here available. Um, first of all, you have this tool panel to the left side of your screen. And you see here that you can add any background that you want um, from the ones that are already here provided for you. You have um, dozens of different backgrounds. You can also upload your own background by either choosing a different gradient color or you can upload an image of your own. Um, so that's one of the first differences that we see here. You can also go up here to the top right of your screen and then you'll see um, different slide layouts that are available for you. And we have here different types of charts and timelines and diagrams. So there are plenty of options to choose from in terms of visual content. So let's say if we want to add another slide like this one or we want to add, for example, a diagram, we can do that as well. Now, if you go back to the first slide, you see that you can um, click on your text box and then you have these different options here that appear in the pop-up menu. You can um, manipulate the vertical padding so you add more space um, to the top and to the bottom of your text box. Also, the horizontal padding, the line height. If you had um, many different lines in a paragraph, you can change the line um, spacing between. You can also transform the text into uppercase, lowercase, or capitalize the words. Um, so you can do many different things with the text editor here as well. Um, you can change the font. There are hundreds of different fonts available for you within Visme. So let's say if we want to change it to Verdana, we can do that here. We can change the size of it, the color of the text. Um, we can also apply any of these color combination presets that are already, already available for you within Visme. So let's say if we wanted to change the whole entire visual theme of this presentation and we wanted to apply, for example, this color scheme, we can do that easily here. Um, so we change the color of the text and we can change the color of the background as well. Um, we can change the color of these different elements here as well. So I just applied this one here at the top and I can simply um, just choose these colors which are already um, established for me. They're meant to go together. So this is a very useful feature if you don't have time to go and look for your own color scheme. Um, so that's another feature that we have here within Visme. And another thing you can do within Visme is also add your own animated text and you can add also um, these pre-designed text frames that you find here at the bottom left of your screen. So instead of you um, putting just a normal text box without any color or any kind of style, you have these pre-designed text frames that you can just um, insert and then put in your own content. So this is also useful. You can also insert, like I said, animated text. So let's say you want your text to appear um, with a typewriter effect. That also, um, Visme also allows you to do that here. And um, continuing on with the different features that we have here, we also have different um, vector icons available in more than 20 different categories and you can search for them here. So let's say I want to insert an icon related to, um, I don't know, let's say I want to insert a calculator. So then I type in the term and then I see all the different options there for me. And like I said, there's more than 6,000 icons here. They're high quality vector icons. So that means that when you insert them, um, you can resize them as needed and they're not going to um, pixelize or become distorted. 
and you can also change the color scheme so that it fits your visual theme so let's say i have here my my preset color scheme so i can apply any of these colors that i have here so it matches with my theme so continuing on with the different features that visme has you can also go here to the images tool and you'll find millions of searchable images here you just type in the term and you'll find an image related to what you want to insert and we also have the charts and tables and graph tool which you can use to insert um, charts like these so we have bar charts pie charts donut charts line graphs area graphs um, scatter plots so you just insert your data right here within the pop-up and you can then apply different settings you can um, make the grid appear or disappear you can also deactivate the animation which is by default always on and you can insert um, the title and subtitle of your graph so this is very useful as i said it's right within visme you don't have to go out into another application um, you can also insert these very um, simple data visualizations so all you have to do is um, insert it into your canvas area and then you can put in your own value here and you can also change the look of it you can change the color as well to match your your visual theme and you can add any of these different infographic widgets which are really simple data visualizations you can even add a clock here um, you can add timers you can add counters as well so as you see there's many different options in terms of data visualizations here that can be um, created with just a click of a button you can also add these icons here for example if you want to insert survey results you can um, for example say um, let's say 30 people um, out of a hundred um, do such and such thing you can also insert these which are called arrays and then we also have tables you can insert tables and then choose a number of rows and columns that you need so that's another um, very useful option that you have here in visme and then we have also the option to insert videos directly into your presentation you can um, have all these options here to make them play automatically or to loop them to start a specific time and end at a certain time to uh, mute them so it's only the, the image that you see so that's another nifty option you have within visme and then finally you also have the option to insert your own audio into visme you can either attach audio here as background music you have some files here already available for you within visme all of these are free so if you click on the play button you can hear them and to attach it to the slide you simply click on the gear option and you attach it or you can detach it and you have all these other settings here for example how you want the music to appear if you want it to fade in or fade out and you can adjust the volume as well so that's also very useful you can also even record your own audio within visme so by pressing the record button um, you have here this option that appears at the bottom and you can record your own voice so that is also a good option for narrated presentations or self-running presentations um, then we also have this very useful iframe tool which can be used to embed a quiz or a poll a map uh, surveys anything that has an embed code you can insert it into here and you can see the content right within your slide deck so people can create interactive presentations with this option as well now in terms of publishing your content all you have to do is go to the top button here publish and you click on it and you'll see that you automatically generate a URL that you can use to give it to anybody that wants to view your project and you can make your public your project private or you can also password protected and create a new password here you can also choose to simply not publish your project um, you can also embed it into any website or blog by simply copying this embed code you can download it as a jpeg png or pdf as well as html5 which is useful for conserving your animation and interactivity even when it's offline 
Um, you can also um, adjust some of these published settings over here. For example, you can require registration. So when anybody um, use your project, they have to fill in a short form that allows you to collect leads. So for example, it could be their name and their email. And then in the end, you have this um, whole list of names and, and contact emails that you can use so that you can generate leads with your presentation. Um, you can also here put background music for your presentation. Um, you can also um, adjust the animation if you want it to play automatically, if you want the slides to advance automatically. So you see here you can um, pretty much customize everything in terms of your presentation, how you want it to look, and also how you want to share it with the rest of the people. So now we're in Google Slides, and you see here there are many different templates that you can choose from. Um, so they're all organized according to the type of project or the objective that you have. For example, do you want to create a book report? Do you want to create a lesson plan, a recipe book, or a pitch? So let's say if we want to create, um, let's say, a case study. So I'm going to choose this option right here. And here we see that you know, as you can do in PowerPoint, you can also, you know, adjust the text if you want. You can also change the font style here there's hundreds of different fonts you can choose from you can change the size you can change the color you can also if this were a paragraph you can change the line spacing as you can do in visme as well you can apply bullet points you can change the decrease or increase the indent um, also we have here the different uh, slide templates that are available with this theme so we see that we also have some visual options here, some graphs as well as in Visme. Um, these are very simple, sleek, minimalist templates as well. And for example, if we want to change the background, we can also do that as with Visme. Um, but here there's only options to change the color. There are not really any other designs here, just the color. And you can choose an image from your own desktop or um, from your local hard drive to insert here and so that's that's one difference there's not as many backgrounds that you can choose um, also you can change here the theme so you have these different themes here to the right side of your screen so that's another thing you can do also um, Something else that is different with Google Slides is that you can also um, insert a chart, but the thing is that you have to connect the chart with data from Google Sheets. So here you see if I double click on this, I can't really modify the data. I have to go to a Google Sheet and have my data there and link it to this graph or chart. So this might take a little bit longer here to do um, in comparison to Visme where you have the data and you insert it directly in there within the application. Um, also, you can insert images here, but like I said, there are no searchable images within Google Slides. So you have to have them on your local hard drive. So you, um, you see here it takes you to your hard drive so you can search for an image, but you don't have any searchable images within, within the application. Um, if you want to insert a video, um, it also lets you search for YouTube videos right within here. You can also uh, copy and paste a URL, um, which is the same as in Visme. You can do that as well. Um, but let's say in terms of vector icons, this is very limited. You don't have um, you know, the 6,000 plus vector icons that you have in Visme. So you only have shapes here, very basic shapes. There are outlines of arrows, outlines of geometric shapes, but you don't have anything else besides that. And then you have here the option to insert a table, which you also have in Visme. And so that's a similarity right there. Now, if we want to insert audio, for example, you don't really have that option here in Google Slides. Now you can animate your objects though. For example, if I choose this object, I can add animation and I can I have about a handful of different um, effects that I can apply to this object. You see here I can make it fly in or fade in or zoom in or fly out from, from the bottom. So you have different animations for how you want it to appear and disappear. 
and you can um, make it so that it appears when you click on it or after the previous animation. So um, like Visme, you have the different animation effects that you can apply. You can also make your content interactive by applying hyperlinks to your text boxes. You can also make this text box into a button, for example. You can apply a different background and then make it interactive by applying the hyperlink to a different site. You can put here any site you want, which you can also do in Visme. Now, one of the main differences here is that um, while you can make hyperlinks here, hyperlink buttons, you can't insert um, third-party content as you can with Visme. For example, there's no iframe tool here to insert a, um, a poll, a quiz, or a survey, or a map. So that's one of the main differences. Also, um, you can't insert audio, as I already mentioned. You can't record audio within Google Slides. Um, you also cannot have, you don't have access to the different preset color combinations that we have in Visme. Um, so, like I said, this is kind of a bare bones version of PowerPoint. Um, what the real strong point about Google Slides um, is that you can collaborate with other people. So, here we see you can publish to the web. And then you can generate a link by publishing this to the web, which you can share with anybody. And they can view it just using this link, or you can also embed it into a website using this embed code right here. So that makes it easy to, to publish your content on the web. And also, if you want to share it with other people, you simply go to the share button, and then you can get a shareable link or you can also modify these um, sharing options. So you can say, for example, I don't want anyone with a link to view this. You can also change that here so that only you can see it or only specific people can see it. So this is kind of the equivalent of the password protection we have on Visme. Um, now, in terms of downloading your project, you can download it as six different file types, PowerPoint, PDF, plain text, JPEG, PNG, and SVG. So one of the main differences here is that with, with Visme, you can also download it as HTML5 to conserve the animation and interactivity that you have in the presentation. Um, to do that with Google Slides, you basically have to use the SVG format. So this is the main difference between Google Slides and Visme. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. You can go to blog.visme.co. You can leave us a comment in the comment section, and we'll get back to you as quickly as possible. We hope that you continue to tune in for more tips and hacks on how you can use Visme. Thank you.